on action, that the car that has been holding us up is allowed to move. We move forward. We have a vendor cross. That shot that opens episode 208, that border crossing a sequence that Larissa Kondracki uh, came up with, that brilliant one single shot, which means the camera, once it starts rolling, it doesn't stop. It is the most ambitious single shot we have ever done in the history of both shows. Not just Better Call Saul, but Breaking Bad as well. When I wrote it, it was not meant to be as complex as it is. I did not write it as a winner, but I'll admit I was worried that it was making a complex scene even more complex, but she and the crew pulled it off. So we're moving with the light in the way we do. Right. Yeah. Okay. The idea of the scene is it's following a particular ice cream truck as it traverses through the U.S.-Mexican border. Which, just from a production perspective, is really challenging. With some computer enhancement, uh, made it look just like a typical stop. So this right here is our border crossing. Uh, the trucks will start, we start trucks lined up deep down that way. Our hero truck is going to be second in line. Behind us is Mexico. Out this way is the exit towards America. So we start behind here on the logo, right? On action, our hero truck starts to move forward. A vendor walks through. We come along with it. We've got our formidable driver in the big side view mirror and the station here. As we come up, we'll see the border station it doesn't look like it, but there's an extraordinary amount of visual effects in this shot. The top of the border crossing is all digital. And then we turn and we'll see our practical trucks and then put in an extension of a long line. We have a handful of real trucks and then at some point they transition to fully three-dimensional trucks. What we actually photographed was an airplane hangar is on the other side of, of our line of cars. So we replaced that with a digital map painting of the desert. As the camera comes back around, we see our border fence, which was only partially built. We come this way through. He is asked his questions. And when we come, we come down, this has gone to America. And we follow here. At this point, we'll have had the DEA and border watching things happen. They're having a little discussion. The DEA cars, the strip of lights that start to flash, and we follow it. These have been crossing nicely in our deep background. It arrives into this little drama. We've got only a cab parked here. The camera was uh, on a steady cam, and our camera operator, uh, Paul, would start off handheld, go onto a crane, get off the crane, get onto a golf cart. We come around here, and this becomes our dolly, so that we're facing out this way, through here to our station, where our truck is just landing. This four and a half minute shot is basically composed of two different takes. As the camera comes up towards the, the truck as it's backing in, we do a transition, which uh, Hitchcock originally did in Rope, which is you have to cover up a cut in a scene, you have somebody's body come across the frame, and that's how you cut from one sequence to the other. And then after that, the only visual effects are replacing the screen graphics. We get to be a witness to this inspection, get to watch our mysterious truck driver take in that experience. And ultimately it ends and you've learned so much and yet you still need to know more. This is the longest visual effect shot we've ever done as a company. Three artists worked on the shot. It took two months of work and hopefully when people watch it, they don't recognize that there's any visual effects work at all. I'm just stunned to think of all the stuff that went into that. Getting the camera crew, getting the lighting, getting getting everything, the makeup and the hair and all these things, all the prop people, getting everything coordinated together, getting it all dovetailed together and working like a well-oiled machine. It's an amazing way to tell this story. Uh, and that's what's really fantastic about how Larissa envisioned this.